welcome to another edition of Ed's Model Madness. I'm going to do something a little bit different today. Um, I'm going to give you a two for one. Yeah, I'm going to show you two of my models. Now, uh, I'm calling this the Gone But Not Forgotten Edition. I've got a 1966 AMT Chevy 2 SS and a 1986 Monte Carlo SS by Monogram. I'm going to show both of these to you, and the reason I call it Gone But Not Forgotten is because these are two nameplates that Chevy um, had around for a long time, but now they're gone. Both of these models, uh, I've had them now for several years. The Monte Carlo I probably built six or seven years ago. The Chevy 2, probably about four years ago. Unfortunately, I do not have any of the build photos from either one of these models. so. I can't really go back and do the box review or anything like that, but I can show you what the finished product looks like and the fact that as old as they are, they still look pretty nice. Now I do keep them inside of display cases. They're covered up so they don't get dusty or dirty and they stay up on a shelf. They don't get handled a whole lot. So anyway, let's go ahead and check out the models. So here are the models. On the right is the 1966 Chevy 2 SS by AMT. This is a 125th scale model. And uh, it was actually a Grumpy Jenkins, I believe, model kit. But you can build three different versions of that kit. It was uh, stock, custom, or you could build the drag car. Of course, I went with kind of stock, custom, and uh, did a few changes to it, which I'm gonna highlight here in just a second. Now on the left is 1986 Monogram Revell Chevrolet Monte Carlo SS. Now also did some changes to this. Um, I had a blue Monte Carlo uh, for a very long time. And so that's the reason why I painted this one blue. And I kind of did things to the model kit that I, that I always wanted to do to my Monte Carlo. Of course I never did and uh, I actually don't have that car anymore. But this was just uh, kind of my dream project, things that I wanted to do. And like I said, uh, it, uh, it turned out really well. It was a really nice build, easy. Everything went together really well. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna separate them a little bit and then kind of give you a little bit more detail to look at them. Okay, so let's take a closer look at the 66 Chevy 2 SS. Like I said, I painted this in a burnt orange. The car was modeled in a white plastic, which uh, you can see some of the interior. Um, that's, that's the actual color uh, that's on the white seats there um, of the plastic in this kit. Now, what I did is I did build it kind of a stock custom. Um, did a lot of detail work to the front end to try and give it a really uh, a realistic grill and headlight look. Um, I added the ignition wires. Uh, you could see that I've added a brake line to the master cylinder, added a bracket to the alternator. Uh, we've actually put battery cables on the battery. So a little bit of extra work was put into the engine compartment to give it that realistic look. The Edelbrock valve covers and breather came out of a different kit. Uh, one of them that I had in my stash. The wheels and tires actually came out of a different kit. Uh, I hand built the traction bars that are on the back and put those on there. So you can see there's a, a little bit of extra detail in this one. Uh, I also built, you can see on the back a little bit better, uh, the leaf spring shackles because I wanted this to kind of have a nice hot rod stance, uh, a little bit, you know, jacked up in the back, not so much in the front. So it, it really turned out well. Um, the hood, like I said, uh, burnt orange this is a testers paint and it's the first time that I'd actually used a testers metal flake paint which I think you can see that in the video um, 
The thing about the tester's metal flake is it just doesn't have quite the same shine uh, as some of the other paints. So, so yeah, um, you, you hear uh, Ernie's in the background yelling at the bird. <laughs> Sorry! Anyway. So yeah, our bird likes to scream a lot. Um, so you'll hear him in the background screaming his full head off. Uh, but anyway, so I look at the back, back of the model, and uh, that's it. Kind of a custom stock build, but it turned out well. Um, real happy with it, uh, except for, like I said, the uh, the finish isn't quite as lustrous as I was hoping it would be. Now I could have gone with a a clear coat over the top of it, which I had never done before in any of my previous models and I really didn't think I would have a need for it. Um, just thought that maybe I could polish this one out. And yeah, it does shine, it does look good, but it's just not quite as shiny as I was hoping it would be. Anyway, sometimes I am my biggest critic. Uh, like I said, the car turned out really well, so I'm happy with it. Now, let's move on over and take a look at the 1986 Chevrolet Monte Carlo SS. This is a monogram Revell kit, uh, and I built this many, many, many moons ago. Um, one thing that you'll notice, I'm gonna point this out real quick, is you see that the undercarriage on the car, um, I painted it, you know, black, like it probably should be. Now, don't know what made me do the frame in gray on this one, other than making it stand out. That frame should probably be black. But, like I said, this, this car I built a long time ago, probably eight years or better. So, there were things that I've learned since then uh, to, to make my models actually stand out and look better than what they do. But for this car being as old as it is, um, it's held up really well. And like I said, this was kind of my dream uh, from when I had my Monte Carlo and I wanted it to kind of kind of look similar to this. Um, now this, this is pretty much a stock build. Uh, there's nothing much that I changed about it. Uh, as you can see that I, I did do some detail work, uh, some paint. Some of the colors I chose just huh, not real sure what it was I was thinking at the time. But uh, it does give it a contrast so it makes everything kind of stand out. So I guess that's one part of it. Now one thing that you can see in the engine bay here, hopefully I can get a decent shot of it, is the ignition wires on this. I actually, and this, like I said, this was this was back when I was getting started on this and kind of doing my own experimentations here. The ignition wires are made out of thread, yellow sewing thread. So um, that was kind of my first well, not the first, but when I was first experimenting with doing my own modifications. Now, as you can see in this one, and there's probably four years of experience between the Monte Carlo and the, the SS over here, the Chevy 2. Um, you can see that the ignition wires on that uh, are, are definitely much nicer than the ignition wires on this one. But again, I am probably one of my worst critics, so... Now, the paint job on this car, um, it turned out really well. It's not a picture-perfect model, but all in all, overall, like I said, I think it turned out pretty well. So, so there you go. Uh, that's the look at my 1966 AMT Chevy 2 SS Nova and my 1986 Monte Carlo SS by Monogram Revell. Two nameplates that are gone, but definitely not forgotten.
So thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and if you want notifications on when I put up new videos, go ahead and hit that notification button as well. Anyway, again, thank you so much. I really do appreciate each and every one of you, and I hope y'all have a really, really wonderful day. Bye.